We chose to do this event in person, you know, a lot tougher than doing it at home on a turbo trainer. And a big part of that was that we could support each other and, and sort of look after each other. You pretty much spent the entire time freezing to death. Everyone's kind of getting to a point where they were deciding whether or not they were wanting to even continue with the race. Hello, it's Misha Keir. It's Misha Alex. It's Misha Callum. It's Misha Sunny. I'm the Chief Morale Officer for Legs Miserables. Hey, Misha Oskion, Slamsha is Savosha. It's Misha and Gaelic Diversity Hire or son Skippa Legs Miserable. Hi, Misha Oskion Bieg. Is that Gaelic? So I convinced these three to do a 25 hour endurance race. The aim was to get as far as you could in, in that 25 hour time period. Our initial goals going into the night was just to make it through the event and come out still riding. First stint was always going to be a difficult one. You want to get some miles in the bank, but also if you push too hard in that first hour, two hours, you're going to suffer for it at some point through the night. The pace was quite high out the start, and I felt pretty good once I came off the bike at the end of that. It's really hard to stay slow in the tailwind, <laughs> but then that headwind is brutal. Really brutal. So after my first stint, as we were swapping who was recording on GPS and, and, and syncing everything up, uh, I thought it was really important to give Kira a bit of detail. He's only a little lad, so I thought I told him what the weather was like up there and, and how it goes from there. Don't go too hard out. It's pretty, um, pretty head windy. Okay. Smile in your shiny. Go for it, mate. So rolling into the night, we were making really, really good time. Night rolled through and sort of 10 o'clock onwards, we started to really, really struggle. I think I could have done a journal of Baroch or son and go shot in. I just got my dad to make you shake and skip it. Now that I'm machine is feeling a little bit ill at all. Nice, really, really switched into a mindset of just getting through the night, try and make it to morning, keep pedaling, and, and, and hopefully we get through it. It's just bright lights from traffic, to be honest. I'll be happy when there's fewer cars on the road, but yeah, we'll crack in. Ready for some dinner now. I'm absolutely starving getting towards two or three o'clock in the morning when the weather is really pretty bad everyone's kind of getting to a point where they're deciding whether or not they were wanting to even continue with the race we were in the back of a transit van you know you didn't have anywhere to sleep but you don't you get an arm a cattle so hold a van so stock up that fine new yeah the huge cattle the temperature dropped massively um and you pretty much spent the entire time freezing to death I don't think any of us thought that the hard part of a 25 hour endurance race would be the time you weren't pedalling the bike. As the sun broke and it was actually an absolutely beautiful sunrise and it started to really lift people's heads. I started the day a bit too fast and as a result I was suffering really badly for the last stint. He came back in and just hadn't hit the mileage that he needed to so he left Kier and I with a, a big task to do on our last stints. I went out, I gave everything I could. When Sonny came into the pub and he actually, as soon as he was off the bike, straight onto the floor, crumpled. I can't remember the last time I pushed that hard on the bike to be honest. I brought back the gap and, and just left it with Kier to sort of bring it home from there. <laughs> I come on speed so as as Jay thinks a quite good how to think of that with that of Yano. Keir managed a final effort of more than 17 miles which comfortably brought us over our 400 mile target. Fairly optimistic goal from us and, and we smashed it. Mm -hmm. uh, Will you do it again? No. No danger. No. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> 